As we draw closer to salmon season, we also get closer to the end of our rig. In this video, I'm going to go over my favorite leader to hook knot. Imagine hanging from a cliff with one rope, a single point of failure. Now imagine having two tie-off points and hanging from the same cliff. It sounds a lot safer, right? This is the same exact concept as this next knot. This is the basic concept of surface area and weight distribution. When tying your typical clinch knot, which is the most popular knot that I've seen so far, you have one single line through the eye of your hook. This is your single point of failure. This is where all the stress of the line is put on. On the opposite end of the spectrum is the snell knot, which has many loops around the shank of the hook, creating much more surface area and distributing the weight. Snelled hooks are great if you're using things like skein or potski baits, but in our situation that's not going to be applicable. The simple but effective palomar knot is known to be one of the strongest fishing knots. It is speculated that the double palomar knot adds another 15% strength and that's going to make it our go-to fishing knot. The double palomar knot is easy to learn and can be done rather quickly. If you have any issues though, pause the video and feel free to catch up. Many people say that the first step is going to be making a loop, pinching it, and sending it through the eye of your hook for the double polymer. But with the size of the hooks that we're using, the eyes are very small and it makes it difficult to do this. What I would recommend is sending one strand of your line through the hook a good distance and then doubling back with that same tag end through the other end and getting your, your loop through that way. It makes it a lot easier. You can pull down the line that you already have through it to give yourself some more room. Holding the loop in your right hand, we're gonna make another loop and do two overhand knots just like this. Next, using the tag end of the loop we just made an overhand knot with, we're gonna wrap it around the entire body of the fly. You're gonna have to give yourself some slack here the bigger the fly you have so that you can go around it, just like this. Once you're completely around the fly, you're gonna pull both ends and moisten the knot here to get it real tight, just like this. It looks like a simple knot, but I'll show you the key here in a second. Finally, trim your tag end, being careful not to nick the knot. Notice that around the eye of the hook here, we have two strands of line, doubling our surface area from your standard clinch knot. This is the key to the double polymer. Now as always, I'm going to do a demonstration with real fishing line on real hooks and show you what I mean. I'm going to do one with a typical salmon fly and another with a woolly bugger to show you the differences.
In my next video, I'm going to go over my favorite hooks to use for salmon fishing. They're widely available and affordable.